All right, y'all. I have on most of my face. I guess you could say that this is probably like my version of no makeup makeup. <laughs> there is not foundation. There's a little bit of concealer. And I've got um, the Natasha, no, the Charlotte Tilbury. I have on the Charlotte Tilbury uh, face quad. Charlotte Tilbury powder in two shades, shade one and shade two. Shade one is under my eyes to set the um, say concealer. And then I've got um, number two all over my face. Uh, some new velour lashes that are very natural for my style and my personal taste. So, I mean, I'm kind of feeling this though. It looks kind of natural. Let's take the hair out. Let's see what I think. This is just how my lips look at this time. <laughs> I don't know, y'all, what I really think. I mean, yes, I suppose this is like a cute little everyday running around kind of look, <laughs> which is not what I usually do. I mean, if this is all I'm going to do, I typically am not bothered, but I'm kind of feeling it. And so, this is Wednesday when I'm recording, so happy hump day. <laughs> and so, I want to talk to y'all about hump day. Humping around, getting down, getting busy, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I was talking to one of my friends, and she was saying that the quality of lovemaking is going downhill. And that... Um, we want to know where the good lovers are. Um, and we also don't want to waste our time, our energy, and we don't want to get like all excited when, you know, it's like jiffy pop, if you will. I cannot believe I'm talking to you guys about this. I think the reason I'm talking to y'all about this is because I feel kind of Victoria's Secret Angel vibes right now with the slightly bronzy skin with a subtle glow and, you know, lashes and brows and next to nothing. Well, actually nothing on my lips. Let me put a little gloss on. But I just want to know, you know, it is hump day. It's, you know, time to have a good time. And I was just like wondering, you know, um, This is one of my favorite glosses. This is Milky from NYX in some kind of cookies. Let me see. Ooh, I don't want it to fall out. <laughs> mm. Cookies and milk. Yep. Mm. Lips are feeling kind of dry today. So, during the course of that conversation that I had with one of my best friends, um, and we have been good friends for decades at this point, um, she's been single off and on um, quite a bit, and... She asked me for my opinion. First of all, I've never had a problem with being single. I think single is a fun place to be. It gives you um, more freedom in a lot of ways. Um, freedom to make sure that you're getting your needs met. Um, freedom to, of course, not answer to anyone. Um, freedom to explore and really make up your mind what you are looking for. Um, and she's just so quiet and so reserved. And I told my girl, I said, look, okay, because she asked my opinion. So I said that I think that she needs to be more open to being vulnerable, to let her intentions be known. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to say, yeah, let's chase a man. I'm not really with that. But if you like someone, you need to tell them that you like them. You know, show a little interest. Plant that seed of what it might be like to 
be with you in whatever capacity that might be. You might just be looking to hook up. You might be looking for a soulmate. You might be looking for someone to pass the time with. You might be looking for someone just to um, be able to vent with or to have fun with. Um, you might just really, really, really need to get down. I'm not sure, but if you are telling someone that you like them, that doesn't mean that you're chasing them. There's a, there's a difference. Now, I will say, you tell them you like them once or twice, but don't keep going back. Like, they heard you the first time, okay? And I have decided that I need a little something on these lids. I am going to use this little bitty baby Natasha Denona single. It's called Pearly. And it's just a really soft, shimmery shade. It's very light and cute. I'm going to just tap that on as well, just to see. I'm kind of feeling this sex kitten vibe we've got going today. It's perfect for hump day. And I'm just putting that on like the center and just tapping it out. It's not like a big deal. Of course, with my fingers and my moisturized but not primed eyes. I think I need a little bit more on this one. Okay. Did that do anything? Yes it did. That's so pretty. Ooh. Maybe I'm starting to feel like this really simple little thing. You know? This is kind of like, you know, you put your best foot forward, but you didn't try too hard, which is basically what I was trying to tell my bestie is that, hey, you know, um, you have to be encouraging enough and confident enough in yourself as well to let them know that you're interested. If they're not interested, that's okay. They're not for you. However... I would wait for them to express some sort of interest first and then you can go in and make sure that they know that you saw that they were interested and that you are also interested because they might be shy right they may be experiencing for whatever reason um, their own because men I mean how can I put this first of all they might be going through their own thing and they're not really sure of their self so it's always a good thing as a woman to just express attraction to a man just so that they can get a little boost you know to their ego and then just leave it there and see what they do with that um, because you know maybe you have misconstrued that they were interested in you which happens sometimes um, but at least you know you let them know that you find them interesting or attractive or sexy or funny or whatever um, because no matter what even if they're not actually interested in you you have still brightened somebody's day I don't care if you're attracted to someone or not if someone lets you know that they are interested in you that they find you alluring in any way shape or form that's gonna brighten your day even if you're not really going for that for that type of dude or that type of woman or whatever as humans it feels good to be complimented and to be desired so my advice to y'all if you're interested is just you know um, don't be afraid to express your interests don't be afraid to express your feelings just go forth and have a happy hump day. Thank you so much for sticking with me and continuing to watch my videos. I appreciate you. Have a good day.